नमस्कार आई एम अनुभव रंजन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग रिथम मेनी ऑफ यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच द फिल्म द साबरमती रिपोर्ट बेस्ड ऑन द गोधरा इंसिडेंट फॉर वंस हु हैवेंट कैन डिसाइड आफ्टर वॉचिंग आवर वीडियो द फिल्म साबरमती एक्सप्रेस इज बेस्ड ऑन द रियल इंसिडेंट दैट टुक प्लेस इन द ट्रेन साबरमती एक्सप्रेस इन टू थाउजेंड टू इन विच ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी नाइन कार सेवर्स वर चार्ज टू डेथ द फिल्म अंडरलाइंस द हेटेड एक्सट्रीमिस्ट हार्बर टूअर्ड्स हिंदूज एंड द एक्सटेंट टू विच दे आर विलिंग टू एक्ट अपॉन इट movies like the kashmir files and the kerala story address the ordeals of extremism how innocent lives were affected when radicals wreaked havoc on peace how young women were groomed and converted the sabarmati report also confronts you with harsh realities watching this film will surely fill your heart with sorrow and bring tears to your eyes but think about the immense pain of those directly affected by this tragedy the ones who lost their loved ones in this horrifying conspiracy Today we will share the stories of those who lost so much. On February 27, 2002, the Sabarmati Express was traveling from Ayodhya to Gujarat when it became the target of extremists at Godhra station. They set two compartments of the train ablaze which were filled with car sevaks and Hindu pilgrims who were going to participate in the Purnahuti Mahayag ceremony. 59 passengers lost their lives in this attack. However, some survived and have recounted the horrific scenes. Recounting the incident I witnessed D Bhattacharya described the frenzied crowd's behavior saying I saw a broken window with its bars bent out of shape it was because of the attack on the train at that moment I had to choose between the devil and the deep sea the flames were closing in on me if I stayed inside I would have been consumed by the fire or suffocated the other option was to jump out and face the violent mob I chose the latter Another witness Gyan Prakash shared the train had just departed from Godhra but stopped a little distance from the station suddenly people started pelting stones at us the stone throwing continued for almost an hour then something was thrown into our coach and smoke spread everywhere it became no suffocating that i could hardly breathe i heard my father urging me to leave the train when i reached the door i saw people being attacked with knives as they tried to escape i moved to the other side and jumped out Imagine the terror of that moment these extremists planned the attack so meticulously that neither staying inside the train nor escaping was an option for the passengers this horrifying scene reminds one of the atrocities inflicted by hitler on the jews the families of those who lost their lives must have endured unbearable pain but they did not give up instead they expressed pride in the sacrifice of the car sevaks Ashok Prajapati son of the deceased Javer Bhai Jadhav Bhai Prajapati expressed pride in his father's sacrifice saying no matter what the world thinks i believe my father's sacrifice was not in vain even 100 years from now the world will remember his offering many others who lost their loved ones in the incident shared similar sentiments expressing pride in their family members sacrifices indeed it was the sacrifice of these car sevaks who took up the cause of protecting their religion their sacrifice is unforgettable at the same time we must recognize the need to stand united against such fanaticism to eradicate extremism from society jai hind